Today was a pretty good day for it, but tomorrow uh, doesn't look quite as mild. First alert meteorologist Ray Petlin tracking that cool down, huh, Ray? Oh, yeah, we're going to put the polar in the polar plunge tomorrow. Temperatures in the morning are going to be down into the mid-20s, and the best it's going to be tomorrow is like 35 degrees, so barely above freezing. So get ready for one of the few cold days that we've had in the month of February. We still have some rain, but it's mixing with snow as it climbs into the higher terrain out towards Somerset County. This is mainly light, and this is going to be finishing up here over the next couple of hours. So that moves on. We're going to be left with clouds overnight. And then early tomorrow, we'll be watching this disturbance here that is going to be dropping very close to the area. And you can see it sort of clips Washington, eclipses Green County, eclipses Monongalia County. So Washington, uh, Cannonsburg, Burgettstown, uh, back into Waynesburg, uh, even uh, Morgantown. We could see a couple flakes trying to develop there, maybe even a little uh, dusting on some elevated surfaces, but I don't think that's going to be too problematic as the ground built up some heat over the past couple days with our warm temperatures that we had for much of this week. Now, after that system pushes down to the south, it's going to drag the clouds along with it, setting us up for some late day sunshine and a nice start to the weekend. But again, we're not looking at big snow, and I think the bigger story is going to to be the cold temperatures that you'll feel tomorrow. Right now, most of us are in the mid to upper 30s. We still have some 40s down to the south. That disturbance has uh, has taken its time crossing the area, so these temperatures haven't had as much of an impact as uh, what we've been seeing earlier from that disturbance coming through. So already near Cleveland, we have those temperatures down around freezing, and we're getting pretty close to it in spots Zealy and Opal and North. Still near 40 here in Pittsburgh, not quite, but near 40. And with that the case, uh, we're still a little ways away from uh, the real cold grabbing on. So tonight we're going to get down close to average. An average is 25 degrees for a low. An average high is 42. So we are cooling off tonight all the way down to 26 degrees in Pittsburgh. We're looking at the mid 20s in most cases south of town uh, near 30 degrees, but it's going to be a colder night than we've had. And then tomorrow our temperatures remain below average. We're looking at highs only in the mid upper 30s in most cases, so this will be a colder day all the way through and one of the few that we had. I think this will be number four for the entire month of February and then beyond that our temperatures warm up again. So a cold start to the day. We clear the skies out. We bring back the sunshine, but that's only going to be able to warm us up to about 35. So quick recap tonight, 26, mostly cloudy, a late shower, still trying to finish up in the ridges. And then tomorrow, our high temperatures only make it to the mid 30s. This is a day that starts off with the clouds, but we're going to build in that sunshine throughout. Temperatures top off for the afternoon in the mid 30s. That's as good as it gets tomorrow. However, Sunday, we're going to keep the sunshine, add in a couple clouds and boost those temperatures to the mid to upper 40s, upper 50s by Monday, and then some 60s for a couple days, but those days are the days that come with rain for next week. We bring back sunshine Thursday, Friday and temperatures in the 40s and 50s there.